Hey guys and gals, Nary here from Drake Wing Gaming. As some of you may on Twitter, the Gaming Drag. Today I'm coming back at you another Let's Play episode of Remember the Flowers. So yeah, I'm gonna be keeping my voice down a little bit as my roommates are sleeping right, uh, like in the room right across from me, and the door is slightly ajar, and I'm too lazy to fully shut it right now. So I'm just gonna go ahead and record over that. Anyway, y'all, let's go ahead and jump right back, shall we? Alarm Chan, you are up, and let's go. All right, alrighty. Aaron doesn't look back at me when he exits the room. I can see how flared up his neck for is as he leaves. I can't help but scratch my cheek. I'm really out of practice if I thought that was an okay response. Don't blame yourself. Your feelings towards your situation are valid. Aaron is just... Worried about Xavier? Vita nods solemnly. I lean back. I guess I should keep what I know about Xavier a secret for the time being. Vita grabs my attention as they close their notebook. I think we've all had a little too much excitement for one morning. Whether or not you say you're fine, I think it's best if we take a break. Whatever you say, you're a doctor after all. So are you, Dr. Cyrus. Oh yeah, I guess I am, huh? I'm not sure I qualify as one anymore. I doubt they'll accept my excuse to get recertified. Don't worry, I'm not technically one either. In fact, I'm called the local vet more often than not. Well, if you need a test dummy to try something out, you know who to come to. That's almost too morbid, even for me. Vita lets out a mechanical chuckle. Almost. We can go over some more tests another time. We'll need to do a physical soon. Pretty sure that's something you're supposed to do at the beginning. Well, what can I say? I'm not really a doctor, after all. Hmm, fair point. This is as good of a time as any to show you to your room. Please, follow me. I pick up my clothes and hold them under my arm. <clears throat> Are you more comfortable being an exhibitionist? Oh, not really. I was naked a lot, of the, a lot of the time, so I guess I'm just used to it. I see. But follow me, Cyrus Cantwell. You can just call me Cyrus. Hmm. Alrighty. Vita takes me down the hall and through a break room of sorts. This is the communal kitchen. I'm mainly, th I'm mainly the only one to use it, but we'll be sharing it from now on. There's another on the, there's another on the other side of the building as well. It's been a while since I've cooked. Wonder what's changed. We can order pre-cooked food for you. That would most what most people around here do. I take it more than just Aaron's group works here? There are a few factions, yes. Oh, so white. She's blindingly white. Vita takes me down another unfamiliar hall. I don't know how they keep track of where everything is. Alright, this is going to be your room, for the time being. Vita takes out a card from their pocket and hands it to me, along with a piece of paper. You can use these to unlock your room. They're your key card and passcode. Uh, thanks. Wait, your room didn't have a keycard. Why not? That was an old medical wing I outfitted. It's not, a, it's not that complicated. Apparently not. I've been told you'll get an axiom soon. I also wrote my ID down. When you add it, we'll be able to communicate without being face-to-face. -face. All right, shouldn't be too difficult. I slide the card and put the passcode. There's an audible ding as the door slides open. My new room is pretty barren, just a bed and a dresser, along with a lamp. This was a storage room, so they had to move everything out before fitting you in. Again, we can order whatever you want. I just kind of want to take a nap. By all means. Vita pauses. Don't hesitate if you need anything. Have a good day, Cyrus Cantwell. Sure. See you later, Vita. As they start walking away, I close the door and take in a fresh breath of air. Ah, it's stagnant. Instead of, instead of making good on my nap, I rush my back against the door and slowly slide down until I'm sitting. Man, what a weird day. I look up at the ceiling. More and more starts to set in. Maybe I should have asked Vita for more advice. Despite having come to terms with everything years ago, I feel a pit in my stomach. It's something I can't identify right away. Sadness? Remorse? Anxiety? I guess it was only a little while ago I believe I still had a place to go back to. I really am stupid. I pull my knees up to my chest, opting to instead stare at the floor. See that? Ah, uh, no! Filthy marks on my screen! Let me get that one second, y'all. Let me get these marks off my screen. There we go, okay. I said I felt nothing, but I guess that was a lie, too. I wish I could go back to feeling nothing. Right now, I just feel like shit. And nothing is better than shit by a country mile. It's hard to keep track of my thoughts as I try to filter through everything. A few centuries worth of memories are bouncing around. 
Although I wasn't conscious most of the time, it's still a surreal feeling. I feel extremely tired. And for the mo for the first time in a while, my mind is spent my mind is spent despite my body being somewhat awake. Nope. Eventually I get up and turn off the lights, before taking my shoes and socks off and laying them by the door. With a bit of exhaustion, I make my way back to my new bed. Might as well test it out. I try to get comfortable, but don't crawl under the blankets just yet. It's alright, I guess. It doesn't compare to Aaron's bed. Or Damien's. Oh. <laughs> that made me tired. You get off my screen, you marks. God, I wonder if it's dried spit from my voice acting. <laughs> I don't know what time it is when I wake up. I could have slept for a few minutes or a few hours. All I know is that I'm thirsty. I dredge my way out of bed to go to what I assume is the bathroom. After flipping the lights on, I see it's pretty bare bones. Just a standing shower, a sink, and a toilet. Oh well, as long as it has running water. I turn on the, I turn on the sink faucet, which takes a couple of seconds to spit out any water. I guess, it has, I guess it has been a while since anyone was here. I cut my hand under the running water before drinking it slowly. I smack my lips a few times. It tastes a bit funny, but it'll do. I'm not really in the mood to leave right now. After a few handfuls of water, I turn the light off and head back to bed. I'm still very tired. <laughs> oh. Oh no. Sad. Hmm. Oh man. I have various dreams recounting the course of my life. Subconsciously, I try skipping through them like ads on a video. I don't want to remember. When I wake up again, I immediately realize that I've been out for a long time. It might even be in the middle of the night at this point. Aaron never came back, I guess. With a sigh, I sit up and hold my head in one hand. I wish I could stop dreaming. I feel thirsty again and a bit hungry. Eh, maybe later. I'm really not in the mood to eat. I decided to just get some more water and go back to sleep for the night. Oh boy. This goes on for the next day or so. I don't even know at this point. All I know is that every time I wake up, I feel progressively more tired. Fine by me. Helps me get back to sleep. The water doesn't taste bad anymore. In fact, it doesn't taste like anything. I don't even turn the light on anymore. Dark is nice. Being so far underground has its perks. No way for sunlight to get in. Not sure why I'm letting myself feel comfortable down here. I can't escape a thought in the back of my head. The more I fall asleep, the more I hope I don't wake up. I get back into bed, I'm still not covering up. I rest my hands on my chest. My ribs feel even more pronounced. Oh well. I soon fall back asleep. Maybe this will be the last time. Well, we'll see, I guess. Hey, right, I'm gonna go ahead. Yeah, let me save that real quick. We'll see, I guess. It hurts to open my eyes. I'm even starting to feel dizzy, like a bad hangover or something. All I've had is water, so it's not that. I shake my head to try and get rid of it, which only makes me feel even more woozy. I don't have time to figure it out as I hear a knock coming from the door. Who could that be? Vita? Uh, Cyrus? Uh, Cyrus, are you there? Oh, it's just Aaron. With some effort, I get up. Oh, Jesus. Oh, that's right. Damn. The bones start to pop as I shuffle to the door. I have to squint to adjust to the hallway lights. My ears ring. It takes a second before I can understand what Aaron's saying. There you are. Vita said they brought you here. Oh. Um. Oh, yeah, just a little while ago. What's up? Uh, a little while ago? Uh, Cyrus, what's going on? Nothing, I've just been sleeping. I was pretty tired. Cyrus, it's been over a day since we last saw each other. It's almost five o'clock. Really? It didn't feel that long. You mind if I come in? Uh, not really. Help yourself. I move out of the way to let him through. Thanks. Uh, where's your shirt? I sluggishly shrug. My motor functions are definitely suffering. It's, uh, it's more comfortable like this. 
Why, what's up? Oh, nothing. Just thought you'd prefer to be covered up. Oh, yeah, I guess that was the point of the turtleneck, huh? Not really. If you want, I can put it back on. Uh, no, no, I just want to make sure you're comfortable. I casually stretch. Mm, yeah, I'm pretty comfortable. That beats being stuck in a container unit all day. Y yeah? He looks worried for some reason. Did you need something? Not particular. Well, actually, that's not true. I, uh... He sighs with exasperation. I'm sorry I didn't come sooner. I was embarrassed over how I snapped at you the other day. Did he? I guess he did get a little upset, but I didn't think that was a big of a deal. Oh, there's nothing to apologize for. Yeah, I didn't think much of it. Well, still, I want to be sensitive to what you're going through. I don't want you to get the impression that I'm only thinking about myself. I raise my hands in protest. I've never had that idea of you, Aaron. I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for you. I close my eyes and think back to when he rescued me from a zoom. I was barely lucid as he carried me on his back, but I'm pretty sure he protected me the best he could. That is until... Oh, wait. I suddenly reach the back of my head and start to prod around. There are a few lumps here and there, but that shouldn't be. Huh. What's wrong? Oh, just, I think I need to ask Vita for some help later. I see. Well, I brought you something that should make your life easier. Oh? Well, what's that? Aaron finally gets his usual smile back as he takes out his axiom. He flips to the inventory screen and produces, some, and produces something shiny and cylindrical. I present your very own axiom. It's called the Computer Alpha Integrated Version 0.1. Called it Kai for short. He presents it to me with a little bit of flair. I completely forgot about that. It almost makes me feel excited. It's a lot. Excuse me, it's a lot bigger than the other models I've seen. Are you sure you want to give me? You want to give this to me? I'm not really sure I deserve it. Nonsense. Like I said before, I think it was meant for you. Really, it's no big deal. If you say so. Well, thank you, Aaron. I'll try not to break it or anything. I'd like to see you try. It's really something else, like someone I know. I'm not sure how to really use it, but I'm sure you're smart enough to figure it out. Something's off with his speech. I think he's trying to come off as overtly jovial. It's like he's trying to cheer me up. He really shouldn't be worrying about me this much. I should try to play along, at the very least. I didn't live this long to let my brains turn to mush. How hard can it be? Aaron looks a bit confused. That's the spirit. He shakes it off, pointing at my arm. Here, hold out your arm and I'll attach it to you. I hold out my left arm. One second, y'all. Coffee time. I was having a cookie and it fell into my coffee earlier, so now it's stuck to the bottom of the... <laughs> okay. On the plus side, my coffee tastes like... Vaguely tastes like cookies. Okay. Oh, wait. Are you left-handed? Not really. I think I'm ambidextrous, but I've probably forgotten how to use my other hand like that. Why? Oh, duh. We want to attach this to your dominant hand. Really? That sounds counterintuitive. Want to be awkward to type with it? A bit, but this model is specifically meant for your dominant hand. I'm sure you'll adapt to it in no time. Aaron holds out his wrist with his axiom. These models are useful, but they're not suited for everything. He shifts attention back to the one he's holding. We got this because we had a mission at the manufacturer's laboratory. They were grateful enough that they outfitted us with axioms, along with a few extra goodies. Sounds like y'all do amazing work. Hope it won't be in the way. Aaron coughs. You won't be. Well, make sure you're safe and sound, no matter what. Just don't let me distract you, alright? Uh, yeah, anyway. He holds out the device for me to look at. Besides being silver, there's not much else to comment on. I recommend you look away when we put it on. It's not very pleasant. I cock my head at him. Aaron, I'm sure I can handle it. I slowly turn to show him my ports, indicating that I've been through this some shit already. Fair enough, then. Don't say I didn't warn you. I casually hold out my right arm. How much more trouble can my can my hubris get me into? Maybe it's just my curiosity, but I want to see how this plays out. Aaron slides one finger down the bottom of the device, causing it to open. Aaron completely calms himself. Ready? Yeah, go for it. Aaron takes a breath before sliding the machine over my wrist. Almost instantly, it clamps down on me. It isn't long until I feel a sensation I haven't felt in a long time. Metal digging underneath the skin. I'm surprised there's no blood. This technology is pretty amazing, although I can do it without the sounds of machinery tearing through my skin. Aaron doesn't seem to hold the process in esteem like I do. The metal feels warm as it starts to wrap around my muscles. The axiom starts to glow a verdant shade of green before altering its shape and size. It reaches from my wrist to the middle of my forearm. It reminds me of an arm brace, a really expensive one. Soon afterward, two slits start to attach themselves on the top side of the form of, the, of a, a top side of the form of a cross. The glowing recedes as the axiom settles down. It's not as warm as it was. It's rather cool to the touch. I can move my wrist without feeling restricted. It fits perfectly. Huh. 
See? That wasn't so bad. I told you I'd be fine. Aaron just looks at me with a somber expression. What? Did I- did something go wrong? Cyrus, uh, there's something I'd like to do. It might be a little weird, so I'd understand if you said no. Oh, uh, what is it? Aaron's tail flicks behind him. You mind if I give you a hug? Huh? Is that all? No, I don't mind at all. Uh, what brought this on? I'm cut off as I'm almost completely enveloped by him. He's holding me close and tight. My shortness of breath clues me in that he's not holding back. Cyrus, I know you've been through a lot. More than anyone ever, I'm pretty sure. And the fact that you're still here is a testament to how strong you are, but... I can feel him shudder, then he starts to stroke my back. I don't interrupt him. I know... I know that you can't feel pain. And that they made sure they could be as efficient as possible with, with you to produce the results they wanted. Even so, it's okay if you're hurting, Cyrus. You have people who want to help you now. I know we haven't known each other for long, but I can just see it in your eyes. Aaron, Aaron starts to stroke the back of my head and chuckles a bit. I'll be with some hiccups. You're not as good of an actor as you think you are. It's clear to anyone how hard this is for you. I don't want you thinking that you should just bottle all this up. I want to help you through this, however I can. I can feel a bit of a rumbling in, my, in his chest. It reminds me of someone I loved who is no longer here. It feels really warm. Oh. Instinctually, I raise my arms around him, embracing him in turn. Alright guys and gals, I'm going to go ahead and uh, pause it right here. Thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, ring that notification bell. Leave a super thanks, or if you can, it always helps. Remember, y'all, it's, okay it's okay to hurt. It's okay to show your hurt. And it's okay to want attention from others. Or to want some form of comfort. Don't be ashamed of, don't be ashamed of that. Don't be ashamed to ever try and reach out if you need help. Anyway, y'all, I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye!